Hi ZBrushers, I wanted to create a video that teaches you how to create textures from matcap materials. So you know how to poly paint and you know how to use spotlight to um, get RGB textures onto the surface of your sculpts. How do we export this poly painting, the spotlight textures, and the matcaps? How do we get that out of ZBrush and into a Photoshop file so we can then use it for textures, for game textures. We need to make that leap from making pretty pictures in ZBrush to actually monetizing our efforts and um, making art directors in studios happy. So uh, let's, let's start that process. Um, first and foremost, I want to bring your attention to uh, Pixelogic.com. Let me bring that window over. So if we go to Pixelogic.com, and we go to the Support Download Center, and we got a MatCap library here. And hey, look, we got an Alpha and Texture library too. Don't forget those. Uh, MatCap library, and I just go down to Effects, scroll down, and one of my favorites, Hell's Breath by Oliver Kaiser. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, this is pretty cool. Um, there's so many different MatCaps in here that are just mind-blowingly cool. Love that green glass, petrol. Anyway, I I'm going to download this one. You click right here, download. And once you load that, here's where you put it. You want to put it in your program file. So let's just say that you're using the C drive. Program files, Pixelogic. And I'm using ZBrush 4. You might be on R2 or R3 by now and come to Z materials and dump it in there. Okay, dot ZMT, ZBrush material. That's where you place it and then you come over here to your mat cap, click on it, and why don't you click on one that you're not going to use? Maybe, I don't know, outline or um, mat cap gorilla if you're not using that. Just pick one you're not going to use and then click on load and go find that place where you placed those mat caps. Let's go to Pixel Logic, ZBrush 4, Z Materials, and then I'm going to dump X ray in there. Okay, so there's a pretty cool X ray. What else do we got? I, earlier, about five minutes ago, I loaded Hell's Breath. Loving that mat cap. So while we're here, while we're talking about madcaps, I want to open up this side of the, the shelf. And I've got, I'm going to populate, I'm going to open up material, and I'm going to click on this and drag it over and dock that. Because I want to look at the modifiers. Um, and Oliver Kaiser, who made this madcap, set up the modifiers. And I want to show how you can just very quickly increase or decrease the intensity on Number A, B, we can make some adjustments to this thing. We got depth. Okay, so just, I guess what I'm trying to say here is this is how you can manipulate it over here and do it smart so you don't overwrite too many of your existing mat caps. And then if you want to save a file that keeps all these mat caps in place, so you don't have to constantly keep reloading these, instead of saving your ZTL over here, save, come over here to File and Save As. And I've got this as German Engineer with Hell's Breath. And, and save your file that, and then that way you don't have to constantly keep reloading all of these things. Keep in mind that that is obviously going to make a much larger file size. Okay, so let's push forward here. Um, the number one step to make, here, I'll put this on basic for now. The number one step to create mat caps that we're going to export is we have to create a displacement map. And in order to create a displacement map, we have to have UVs. So do you have UVs on your subtool? Let's go here to texture map and press new from UV map. And in this case, I do. I've got UVs already imported on there. So I'll turn that off. And we need to make a displacement map. We can't make a displacement map without UVs. Okay, so here in the displacement map rollout, we'll click on this, 
And before we, we press the Create Displacement Map button, let's turn on Adaptive and turn on Smooth. And if you hold the Control button down, that gives you some information about why Adaptive and Smooth are advantageous to creating a displacement map. All right, so I'll press this. And hey, it can't be created while the highest subdivision level is active. So let's go down to the lowest. And it's basically doing a projection method between level 1 and level 6, or whatever your highest level is. Okay, press Create Displacement Map and let the software crunch on that for a bit. Looks like it's going to take me about 20 seconds to crank one out. That's pretty good. Alright, so there it is. There's the displacement map. And I want to place that over here in my alpha tray. So I'll say clone displacement map. That pops it over there. And um, then we can export it. Alright, so I'll just export that as jacket displacement map. put that someplace sensible. Okay, so there that is. Um, now let's turn that off, turn that off, and let's initialize ZBrush. We're just going to wipe our, our settings. And now this, is, this gets a little tricky, but please follow along. Uh, I want to go and resize my document. I'm going to make I'm going to turn off constrained proportions. I'm going to type in 2048 and by 2048. And you know, if you want to make a 1024 by 1024 or a 512 texture or by 512 texture, this is how you do it. So I get my my width and height in here, and I press resize. And let's zoom out and let's see what we got here. So I got this square document that's 2000 by 2000. I don't like this gradient in there. I'm going to go up here to document and take range down to zero to get rid of that gradient. And by zooming in and out of here, we can fill up that space. Okay, now I, what I want to do is click here and load a plane 3D and just click and drag into my viewport. Go to edit and press T and then I'm holding the shift button down to snap that viewport and then I can press frame or F as the hotkey and that fills my document size. It fills 2048 by 2048 which is square with this plain 3D. Okay, So I need to convert this plain 3D to a poly mesh that I can subdivide and that's what this button is for right here. Make poly mesh 3D. I click on that and now I can subdivide this guy to get a couple million polygons. Let's see, I'm at 1.05 million. Let me go one more time to 4 million, 4.2 million polys. And if I zoom out here, you can see there's this plane with 4 million polys on it. Hold the shift button down, snap it, and then frame, zoom extents to fit the frame there. Okay, so now that we've got all the polygons we need, and remember that displacement map we made, a ma we made a second ago? Let's go get that displacement map. Here it is, jacket displacement map. And we need to apply it. So I'm going to apply it to this polygon with 4 million polys on it. Okay, so there it is, super high res. It captured all that sculpt that I, I had in that jacket. Okay, so it's on, and I now I can turn this off. Now, what... Matte cap, do you want to apply to this thing? Let's go get that Hell's Breath. I'm going to load that. Z materials. Hell's Breath. Seems a little dim in my in my monitor here, and again, that's why we go over here and we can intensify this. Reduce the opacity, cavity detection. There we go. And 
since we're going to export this as a texture, keep in mind we can always uh, manipulate this in Photoshop as well. Let's Okay, so I've got my matte cap applied. Now the next step is just to export the document. So we come up here to document, export, and put that wherever you want it. Call this Hell's Breath example and save. Okay, let's go to Photoshop, open up that file, see how it looks. Okay, so here it is. Now, <laughs> you know, it's, it's easy to get carried away. This, some people say, oh, well, that's just a gimmick. Don't forget that you're compositing these things on top of the diffuse, on top of the ambient occlusion, on top of your shadow. And you might even take the green channel from a normal map and composite all those things together to make a really beautiful game texture. That's going to be the subject of a different video. But I, wanna, I want you to remind you of that, that this is just one component of many to make excellent game textures. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. I'd like you to keep watching. There's a lot to learn. And uh, thank you very much.